Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to upgrade the beautifully designed Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 16. Let's get started. Okay, so what are we actually gonna need for this uh, repair or upgrade is we're gonna need the uh, guitar picks. We're gonna need an iFixit uh, screwdriver with bit Torx T6H. And of course, we are going to need the laptop. All right, so let's turn this laptop around. We are going to be taking out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 screws. Just like other Asus laptops, the bottom right screw will not come fully out. It is just there to give you a gap so you can work on um, getting the panel off. And remember to always keep these in the order that you took them off because Asus does have a habit of doing different size screws in certain areas. So we'll be putting those off to the side in the same order they come out. And this is what I mean here. As you can see, this is a really, really long screw compared to the other ones. That comes out of the top two up here, but as long as you're keeping them in order, you shouldn't mix those up. And honestly, you shouldn't mix those up anyways, but uh, let's just be uh, safe about it. Okay, now that we've gotten all of the screws that are visible um, and set aside, there is something that I did not tell you. There is a hidden screw on this laptop and that is right in the dead center middle. There's a little rubber pad that goes above that screw. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in and I'll show you how to get that out. We're gonna take something sharp and we're gonna go right at the edge. And it should fairly easily come off once you get it up a little bit. Kind of just pick it up, put it off to the side, and there's your last hidden screw. All right, so this is actually a very easy to work on laptop once you get all the screws out. We're gonna go back and turn this over to where that gap is created. And you'll see that just with your clip alone, it's already loose. So we'll turn this over to, its, to the sit on its back. And as you can see, it's already pretty loose. So what we, what, the only thing that you have to do is, if it's already that loose, just put it back down how it was, pick up the, the bottom of it, and then wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle, 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 and it should come right off. All right, so now that we're inside, we're gonna take a look at where everything is. There's your NVMe that comes in stock. That is a thermal pad that they put on there, so it produces um, heat transfer to the bottom plate, since the bottom plate is metal. Um, there's your two RAM slots your battery, and then there's your second NVMe slot right here on the right. So you can put two NVMe's on this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take out the RAM and the NVMe to show you how that's done. But first, let's be safe. We're gonna unplug the battery. To do this on an ACES, we're just gonna take our, our guitar pick. We're gonna push up on the little latch here. It goes right up. Take fingernail, fingernail. These are the best things you can use to be picking up uh, connections because they're not too hard and you can kind of feel the pressure, the amount of pressure that you put onto any of the clips. So take the, the left side, right side with your fingernail and just pull up towards you, it comes right off. Okay, to take out the RAM, we're just gonna, on these little, two little hinges, pull outward, comes right out, that's a DDR5 stick. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the second one, comes right out. As for the NVMe, we will be taking the bit PH1 from the iFixit kit and unscrewing the screw. Put a little bit of pressure down, downward and spin. It'll be easy, right? After that, we're gonna lift up. There's gonna be a thermal pad at the bottom as well, it's stuck to it, so, so don't worry, this is normal right here. Once you pull at an angle, you're gonna pull it right out and there's your NVMe. If you decide to add another NVMe, make sure it's a one-sided chiplet NVMe um, in order to put the thermal pad back on. If you decide to do an NVMe that has chips on both sides, make sure that you take off that thermal pad or else it will actually bend your NVMe the wrong way. Once you've done that, then just obviously put your NVMe right back in. It goes in at an angle just like that. And then we'll put in the screw. In order to put your RAM back in, if you decide to upgrade that, make sure that the notch matches the that the notch matches the gap. Goes in at an angle. 
push inward and then one finger down here the click and do it again make sure this notch matches put it in an angle one finger down click before we put the back panel back on make sure that you remember to plug your battery back in just go ahead and line it up you can use both of your thumbs here line it up the way it was on before push down and then take your guitar pick or you can do your nail as well and then push down on the little latch that actually holds it together once you're ready to put the back panel back on very easy just like you took it off we're gonna just line it up just put it right on top like this and then start with the back since you know that the back was the last thing that came apart start with the clips on the top okay we'll turn it there's really no clips so for the, there's really no actual like hard clips for the rest of this so just work your way around see if you can close it up all the way put it back down and now we put the screws back on and of course work backwards so the first screw that goes in is going to be that middle screw that we took out last which is a hidden screw that goes back in just fine and make sure that you put on the little rubber cover that it had on before. Okay, so that is how you upgrade this machine. Before I get out of here, um, I want to thank Computer Upgrade King for letting me borrow this laptop or else I wouldn't be able to show you how to do the upgrade. Um, if you want to check out this product, make sure you hit the, the description down below. I'll post a link for you from Amazon. If this was helpful to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share the video because it, it could help somebody else out there as well that may have purchased this and wants to upgrade their system. Don't keep that away from them. Um, until the next video, take care of yourself and take care of others.